Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This is an interesting one. I have seen this phenomenon before, but not in a very long time. But his explanation exactly works. This is from Dean Warren, and he says uh, he's NO6J. And he says, hi, Dave, I have this polyester duster brush that I use from time to time. Now, let me tell you what's wrong with the polyester duster. It creates static, a static charge. Now, that static charge can help it pick up dust because it pulls on the dust electrostatically. And while it will move dust, it won't move anything else, so you just get the dust out of there. But there are problems with using something that's got an electric charge on it. Remember, if you move the duster with an electrostatic charge, you are moving charged substances. And what's that? We call that an electric current. Okay? And a moving electric current creates a magnetic field okay so the problem he is having here is the other day I dusted off the ham equipment and the watt meter mm. okay it has a meter standard meter let me show you what a standard meter looks like these are um, meters that uh, are the classic type they've got a standard magnetic movement in them and the more current you pull through them, the further that goes over the side. So we see this one over here shows that uh, it's about 13.8 or 14 volts, okay? Now, if you were to uh, electrically charge this thing in the front, what would that do to the meter? Well, the meter works on a magnetic basis but the electrostatic charge will tend to pull the needle out toward the face here. There's very little room in here, and you can pull it out to the point where it won't be able to move past where the static charge is, and you'll get wildly inaccurate readings. And this was his problem. Okay, he says, <clears throat> Later on, my Daiwa CN801 was showing 60 watts out, then it went to 20 out. Now, he's having a problem with the static charge that was left on the front of that meter. Now, as that needle moves, there's a moving magnetic field. A moving magnetic field in the presence of charge creates a, an electrical current, and you end up screwing up the whole meter. He says, I got the static... Uh, the uh, a specification sheet for the meter and Daiwa said sometimes static electricity can cause erroneous readings. Absolutely. Absolutely it can. They said to use fabric softener sheets across the meter face. So I got a dryer sheet out, wiped the meter face, and that took care of it. He says amazing that something as simple as this could fix my problem. Well Dean this is the by far the most common uh, dryer static sheets. They're called bounce. They're cheap. You get them in the grocery store. This happens to be a fairly small box of them. Uh, you can get quite a bit bigger. Uh, they're just sheets like this. They're, they're a little bit translucent. They've got just enough of a, a, a sort of a web of fabric there that the... Um, chemical that's on here can uh, run around. What happens is this gets hot in the dryer and it releases its chemical contents which has a metal in it, probably aluminum. Okay, And what happens is you get this extremely tiny itty bitty bit of aluminum in your clothes and it's enough to make them conductive as opposed to insulators are dielectric. And so when you pull the clothes out of the dryer, you don't have the static cling between them because what this stuff does is it allows that static charge to dissipate all the way through that load of clothes. And then you throw these away. They're a one-time use. 
These are remarkable little devices because if you were to rub this across the meter face, it would leave no uh, smudges or anything like that. Uh, these are also great on cleaning day. If you have a little bit of sh uh, soap residue in the shower, just uh, scrub it with one of these and it comes right off. It's pretty amazing. So to do that, you would reach down here like this. And I'll turn a light on so you can see a little bit better here. Okay, and just rub it like that across the meters, okay, and solves your problem, and your problem goes away. Like I said, these are dirt cheap. They're available at your grocery store, and uh, so I turned my assistant on to these today. He has to do his own laundry. That's one of his chores, and he sees these but has never used one, and then was complaining all his clothes came out all staticky. Well, now he knows better. There you go. All right, so that is uh, a nice uh, tip from Dean. We appreciate that. And you will find that this will work on a lot of things where there's a static charge. Static charges are your enemy in ham radio because they interfere with other things happening. Okay. Now, before we go, I'd like to pay a special uh, thank you to uh, Joerge. G -G. It's, it's J E O R G E. Uh, George, I guess it could be, um, for being a patron of this channel. And what he does and what other patrons do is com uh, commit uh, two or three or five or ten dollars a month to the channel. And it comes to me uh, via Patreon. You can go to www.patreon.com slash K-E-0-O-G and pick a way that works for you. And that really helps support this channel and it will help my assistant buy his own box of bounce until we next meet 73